and welcome to my channel and I've got some papers to show you today from the brand new collection that's going to be available in Shiny Silver Treasures Etsy shop from the 1st of September and I've also got some lovely projects I hope you find them lovely <laughs> uh, this, this paper pad that I'm going to show you today is called Autumn Spice and it's part of the Festive Treasures uh, collection and what you get in the paper pack is nine different designs, 27 background papers of nine designs and you get three fuzzy cutting sheets and they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean they're ideal for Halloween but not overly ha Halloween because if you don't like Halloween there's uh, like autumn leaves and stuff and they so without further ado I'll show you now I've been <laughs> chopping all the fussy cutting bits out so I haven't got the full sheets to show you but we've got a selection of sizes of these different squashes and a selection of pumpkins these are quite funky aren't they <laughs> and uh, we've got this lovely flower head I don't know what it is, but uh, Dawn had told us that it was a photograph of a flower that had lost its petals. She just thought it was really interesting looking. So I've got that in different sizes. And in the third sheet, we had several of these pumpkins. These are ideal for decoupaging up, which I'm going to show you in a future project. And then we've got the different sized mushrooms. Well, let me show you the papers first. Now, how pretty is this? This is actually mushrooms. I think that's gorgeous. And then we've got mushrooms again. Quite unusual, isn't it? And we've got a kind of grungy style background. And another sheet of the, this is the same background as that mushroom paper, but just the completely plain with the kind of different colours. We've got greys, whites and a kind of maroon colour. Lots of possibilities to use that with. And I love that one. All, all the different pumpkins. This is very useful for Halloween. Then it goes on to the brown sheet. Now there is a very very slight wood grain to this paper. Uh, I'm not sure if you're picking it up. It is lovely. It's very subtle. And then the next one I've got the same wood grain background with some autumn leaves. Love the colouring of the autumn leaves. Then we go into the harlequins. Harlequin pattern. I love all these kind of brush strokes and stuff. It's in the, the diamond pattern. So lots of possibilities for this as well. Doesn't really need to be autumn. Then this one, we've got the harlequin pattern in the background and more of those lovely autumn leaves. Absolutely stunning. And the last one, which I love, and is so we've got the pumpkins here in the corner and we've got alcohol inks background here. You may remember from our last collection this brings in the paper from our last collection, which has added pumpkins to it. Absolutely fabulous sheet of paper. And it makes such a quick and easy card, like I'm going to show you now. See how, just using the corner, how simple is that card? I've added in some of the gonk stickers, autumn gonk stickers that I got from the range and they work perfectly well with this collection 
So I've added the wee gong with the autumn spice candle. And the, these leaves were from the gong stickers from the range as well. And this is part of the new word collection. I'm afraid I've cut all the words up, so I haven't got a full sheet to show you. But there's a full selection of words um, that's suitable for autumn. And also a full selection suitable for Christmas. And then you've got the kind of basics, happy birthday and thank you and stuff like that, isn't it? So a very useful word pack. And this one says Pum pumpkin spice and all things nice. So very quick and easy card. And another project I've got to show you today is I've made a little pillow box with the pumpkin paper. I've just glued the paper onto stuff stuffer card and cut it out with a die. So they're ideal for making boxes of any description if you if you glue your paper onto onto the back of card. And I finished it off with one of the wee gnome stickers from the range. That's I these this collection's ideal for adding things in that you've already got in your stash. Now I've got three ATCs to show you. Uh, I've got the flower heads that I cut out of the fussy cutting sheet from the paper pack. And I've actually brought in Dawn's last collection, which is still available in the Etsy shop. So if you fancy in that, you, I think you'll be in luck. Uh, and I think it matches absolutely perfectly with the, the flower heads here. And I've uh, doodled a border and used Beautiful, which is available in the brand new paper pack. So that's just three of the flower heads in a cluster. So I hope you like that one. Next up, I've used the Funny Shaped Squash and the Autumn Leaves. The autumn leaf, this autumn leaves here, I've cut them all out, but they come in the bottom half of this sheet. So, so these are really good quality card. The, the fuzzy cutting images uh, come in. And again, here's another another of the sayings in the new paper, uh, paper words. Uh, time to hibernate. And I've cut out two of those funny shaped squashes and the leaf. And this is the brown the brown paper with the slight wood grain on the back. And I just had this tag, or well, journaling tag in my stash and I thought I thought it would be matching in very well with this. So I've put that on just to bring the a wee bit of detail. And the last project I've got today is this cute little ATC here. Um, spooky, another one of the words in the, the word pack. And this is one of the uh, one of these pumpkins and I've added the eyes and a dinosaur body and this uh, kind of centipede these all came from that a uh, dinosaur pad i don't know if you've you've seen the video i picked up a uh, recently in a charity shop it was like some stickers and stuff and we had the eye stickers so <laughs> that was very cute to put eyes on the pumpkin and then make it the dinosaur body and the pumpkin head so I wonder which one of these ATCs are your favourite. Let me know in the comments. And I hope you join me on Wednesday. And we'll have a look at the Festive Treasures, the Christmas range. I'll show you some cards that I've been making. 
and also join me before then I've got some lovely birthday presents to show you some crafty lots of craftiness a uh, crafty birthday presents so thank you to everybody who sent birthday wishes and presents I've got two birthday parcels still to pick up this, uh, today this afternoon they've been sent back to the post office because I I was away for my birthday weekend so once I've got them I'll come back and show you either tonight or tomorrow so thanks for watching bye bye